Welcome back to Christian May. Today I have a vlog for you. Cutting my hair a little bit shorter than usual. Um, this was super fun and I love how it turned out, but definitely, um, I guess a little risky to just do it by yourself. I haven't done it too often, but love how it turned out. I love going to libraries and studying in them and bookstores, so this was a fun time of the day. I just looked through some fashion and some house books. This book right here is a super cute farm book. And then we went to the grocery store and there were some really pretty flowers. And we got all the things that we needed and then we made lunch and hot chocolate. After I made up my hot chocolate, I was working on a pot holder. This one is yellow, orange, and red. And um, these are the best pot holders that I have found. Um, I love making them and they work super great. So if you'd like to make one, um, just get yourself some little loops at the craft store or Hobby Lobby. Here's what it looks like when it is all done. And I used a crochet hook on the end um, to finish it off. Braided my hair a little and then started a painting. I really love meadows and the wildflowers. And so I wanted to paint something that was kind of inspired by um, just loving those things and wanting to live kind of in one or like close to one. So. I looked up a picture on my computer and then I just got all my painting things and started painting. Yellow used to not be my favorite color but it is now for me a really bright color and it makes me happy. Um, and I have a little pillow that's a little smiley face that's yellow and then I have like a gold cup and stuff so I guess yellow is becoming more of a color that I like. started painting some grassy parts and then I'm going to paint the stems for the little flowers. I changed my flowers to pink instead of yellow which the picture was but it ended up turning out really cute. Though paint is really pretty on the canvas, it is also pretty in the water and in the little pan. I love exploring and trying new kinds of art and I am practicing on painting some because I haven't done that too much. Um, one thing I have done a lot is bullet journaling and I have other videos of that on my channel if you'd like to check it out but practicing on my painting skills. Almost done with it and this is my comparison picture. I decided to add the washi tape a little bit after I started painting so not all of the sides are even but I love the satisfying of um, taking the tape off and it looking so crisp. Here's what it looks like now. I just gotta add the signature, obviously. Can't forget that. I did forget it in one of my other um, pages, and so then I went back and added that onto it. Here's my fit for church. Um, after church, we came back home um, after we went to Pizza Hut, and then I painted some more and, of course, drank some more hot chocolate. It's really cool this week. Um, and then I read some in a book. I'm gonna read it for school. It's called 1948. Really cold day here in Texas on Monday. I just woke up and got all my stuffed animals and put them back on the little couch in my room that I'm staying in um, and made my bed. I can't forget to make your bed. Um, it's a great habit to have and 
Um, it just makes the day go so much smoother if you have your bed all nice. I love my little slippers. I wore them all week. Um, and then this morning I was able to have some time and just read for a little while. I read in First Timothy, I believe. Then decided to start a project, looked back at some of my journal, and um, decided to start a skirt. This is just some fabric that my grandmother had um, in one of her closets, and she said that I could use to make something out of, so I was like, why not? Here's what the skirt is looking like. It is Monday now and I'm just picking out my clothes, um, seeing which jeans I am going to wear and sweater. My grandmother has lots of pants and tons of different kinds of clothes, so gotta um, change it up. My sweater had to be stitched up a little bit a few days ago because it had a little um, pull in it, but once I stitch it up with um, a little bit of thread, you could not even tell where it was. It took me a minute to find where it was, um, but yes, it was um, a very warm sweater um, and just kind of cutesy. Again, here are my cute animals. I love cows um, and dinosaurs. Made some breakfast. Um, hot chocolate again. I wonder how many times I drink it in this video. Probably like five times. Um, it's a cold day um, on Monday and I just decided to go outside for a little bit and um, move around in the cold. My grandfather pulled out this puzzle and started it and it is so pretty. It's coming together so good and I love working on it dreams is to book one day so I was working on one that I've typed up or excuse me working on typing one up um, I have a book that I've written a lot of poems in and that's what my first book is gonna be a little bit I don't remember what I recorded on Tuesday but it's Wednesday now and decided to wear something cute today again um, so that I would feel motivated In the attic, just looking for some cute baskets and things to decorate my room with. Um, I found this cute little clock and then some cups. I did end up getting a few baskets and taking them downstairs along with a few jars. And then I found this little paint um, box which was super cool. I might get it out and use it sometime. I added my beads into tinier jars and sat them on my desk. Um, I love making bracelets with these and I want to make some more soon. Um, the brown uh, wooden beads are my favorite right now. Just using that jar that I had my beads in, well actually it's a vase to put some um, fake flowers in to dress up the room because um, I love how it looks and these match, they're pink and white put them over here in this little corner and put my little frame. I had to clean this metal board um, with a scrubber and some product. I forgot what it's called but here's my skirt and how it turned out. Feeling like a cowgirl. I hope to see you back again and hope you have a smiley rest of your day and your week. Bye.